Hey, so this is one of my challenges for the week. I said I was doing 16 weeks of challenges to 70. Well, this is week one. And I decided that I'm going to bike up Arrowhead Mountain. It's, it's a steady incline, uh, about 1,500 feet, getting to close to 9,000 feet. I've just been here in Colorado for about 10 days, so I'm still getting used to the altitude and need the oxygen. But uh, let me swing you around and show you where I'm going up, and I'll post some more videos to show you what I'm doing. So here we go. I'm going to go straight up. It doesn't look hard, but believe me, I'm totally in granny gear, and it is a ball buster. That's all I gotta say. It will work your your thighs, your glutes, your calves. It'll get your heart rate up. Uh, so let me get back and keep going up the mountain. Okay, I made it up the first incline. I mean, you gotta take little little pieces at a time, stop and catch your breath. Uh, literally, when I get off my bike, my legs are shaking because they're, they're so stressed. But I'm breathing and I'm still doing it. And uh, here we are, we're gonna take this next little incline and see how we do. That's the thing about a goal. You gotta break it into manageable steps. And with this goal of getting up Arrowhead Mountain, where these inclines are about, I'd say a 3% grade, pretty steep. Um, you, it's not a race. I just wanna work towards the next curve, catch my breath, and then go up to the next curve. That's a good strategy, huh? It'll get me to the top. Okay, that's a big alley because I made it up that one hill and I'm around a curve and I'm facing my next one. So uh, I think the thing that's going to determine how far I go up is my water. And I've already guzzled at least 32 ounces. So uh, let's see where I have to go. Oh wow, maybe I can hitch a ride with that truck. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go a lot slower than he's going. Gotta keep up, but can't let my water run out because I have to stay hydrated. Okay, as you can see, I am up here where the ski slopes are. And we're starting to see some houses at this high elevation. I gotta go up that hill there. I have about three more ounces of water. And then after that, I'm gonna have to stop because you just can't do this kind of biking, exerting this kind of energy and sweating like I am without a lot of hydration. Okay, let's get started. I think the hardest part of this is starting and stopping. I mean, try getting back on your bike on about a 3% incline grade and starting to pedal. But we're gonna do it. Okay, this has been the toughest incline yet. I've had to stop several times and getting back on my bike Ain't so easy. I got about two ounces of water. I'll go up a little bit more, but I think I'm almost at the top. When I started this uh, challenge today, first week of 16 weeks to 70, I set an intention. And that intention was for my peeps and my supporters who are following me. For all of you who might not be able to do this or who can do it but don't choose to, I do it for you. And it's such an exhilarating feeling to know we're in this together. So we're gonna go up a little bit more, then we're gonna turn around and come down, and coming down isn't easy. Where are you going? Okay, I'm going up to the top of Arrowhead Mountain. I've been going in granny gear the whole time. How far am I from the top? Very close. It don't matter how long it takes, just get it done. All right, thank you, Coach. Great encouragement. Bye.
Now, I made it to the top. I'm so proud of myself. I dedicated it to you because it's for you peeps that I'm doing it 16 weeks to 70 uh, week one challenge. And uh, I made it all the way up Arrowhead Mountain, probably almost three miles at a three to four percent uh, grade. And it was really, really hard. I wanted to turn around and stop many, many times. I rationed my water. I still have about two ounces. Now I've got to go down the mountain and I'm going to talk to you about what going down is like. Okay, in some ways going down can be harder than going up because your bike can get to speeds of 20, 30 miles an hour and even higher. And I don't want to hit a rock. I don't want to hit a crack in the road, have a wreck, uh, you know, have a yard sale. So what I'll do is I'll feather my brakes, my front and my back brakes. I'll just take my time. It puts strain and demand on whole new parts of your legs and your body. But uh, let's start the ride down. I am on my way down and I see somebody else coming up. Oh my gosh, I know what uh, she's in for. It's just amazing view. Hey, I made it to the top. Good luck. Look at this view. I had to stop because actually your hands do get tired on the handlebars of feathering the brakes and uh, leaning over. So look at that view and I'm getting a nice breeze. So it was worth it. I am down the mountain. My first challenge of 16 weeks to 70. I went all the way up Arrowhead Mountain. It took me about an hour and a half to get up. It's hot, I sweated, I drank about 40 ounces of water. And I came down in about 12 minutes. Um, maximum speed was about 35 miles an hour. Kept my brakes on, didn't turn, rotate at all. It was exhilarating. I met the challenge. I took it in little baby steps and I did it for you. So go out and do it yourself. Do something to make yourself have to work hard and uh, uh, do something that you don't think you can do because you know what? You can do it if you put your mind to it.